Hey guys, my name is Jeff Knoll, and I am the leader of a team of kid movie reviewers whose mission it is to review movies meant for kids. Now, I think that adults reviewing kids' movies is just crazy. Seriously, what do we know about what you like to watch? Nothing! Now, like Professor X before me, I've assembled a crack band of movie review superheroes to give you the real scoop on what's hot and what's not at movie theaters for kids. Kids Review Crew on set! Okay, crew, today's mission is to watch and review the latest animated film in theaters, Ugly Dolls. Everybody got their ugly dolls with them? You have a doll. Why would you have a doll? You know what? Just keep going. Go review the movie. <sighs> it's okay. You'll be fine. Every year, millions of dolls are created, perfectly designed to bring joy to people everywhere. But what happens to the dolls who aren't so perfect? Okay guys, you're freshly back from watching Ugly Dolls. So let's get right into it and let's talk about this film. Okay, so the first question I have for you is, what is the moral to this movie? I think the moral is be who you are and don't change yourself. Because in the movie, the ugly dolls were trying to change their appearance just to get owners. So I think the moral of the story is kind of everyone is unique and you don't have to change who you are to be like everyone else because everyone else is also unique. They all think differently, they all look differently, and nothing matters if you look differently or think differently. We're all the same. Lily, what do you think? I think it would probably be you're unique in every way and never change who you are because, you know, you're unique and you're unique in every way. I think it's uh, you can be whatever you want to be because they've changed multiple times in the movie. They gain charisma, they drop their low points, and they go right back up. Kind of a similar vibe to uh, the first movie we reviewed, right? Yeah, uh, yes. Missing Link. It's very <laughs> similar kind of uh, moral to that story. There's a lot of musicians that are actually voicing the characters, and it's it's uh, got a lot of musical numbers. Who here likes musicals? Oh, Caden, okay, you're not a musical nah. fan. Okay. <laughs> I love musicals. Did you recognize any of the voices? Um, yeah. Yeah, I did. Well, let's hear. Who who'd you hear? I recognize Nick Jonas from his work in Jumanji, uh, Welcome to the Jungle, the new, the newer one. The newer one, yeah. Uh, he was great in that, and he was also good in this, and he made a good bad guy. Oh, wow, okay. Anybody else? Any other names? Uh, Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson, yeah. I recognize Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton, yeah. Kelly Clarkson and Blake Shelton are both on The Voice, kind of an interesting, uh, they're on that show and they're together in this movie, too. Lily, did you recognize any voices? Not really, because I don't know a lot of actors. Okay, well that's fair. Did, did, we, did we like the music in the movie? Yes. It was a little bit cheesy, but it was like good music. Let me break it down. Welcome to the Institute of Perfection. Remember, only pretty dolls will meet their perfect human match. You're an engineer slash model. You're a boy doll slash model. You're not a model. Data does not compute. So let's talk about the movie, the movie scenes themselves. Does anybody have a favorite scene in the movie? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, my favorite scene was probably the scene in the house. And no spoiler drops, trust me. Um, <laughs> and it was just, it was kind of the scene where everyone was trying to lift up. They could all help in every way. And the bad guy was trying to get them off, but they always got up and they finally won. And that, that was probably what made it my favorite scene. Sounds like maybe another moral to the story that people need to help each other too. I feel like I liked when the bad guy who was trying to get the the dolls to get out of their precious world. But yeah, how they got up and they never gave up, ever. Mm. That is very special. Nice. 
Uh, mine's probably the incinerator scene because it's very reminiscent of Toy Story 2 at the end. Three. Three, sorry. At the end where they're all helping each other and then they all, like everyone from the town helps to get them out. Mine is probably the part where they were getting makeovers because it was just really funny because they're ugly dolls and they're getting makeovers and it didn't, they didn't look better, no, like at all. But it was just funny to me. Okay. What about favorite characters? Did we did we like any of the characters or identify with some of the characters? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Lily. I like this cute little plushed animal. It was a red bat. It is just so cute. It's actually right there. It's a little red bat. So cute. My favorite character is probably um, Ugly Dog because he was. He was so funny, and he and he had a gr great voice, and I think he played a big role within the character. He was rapping. He was rapping. He was also doing. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Do you know who voices that character? Pitbull. Pitbull. Yeah, that's right. Caden. Uh, mine's definitely Ugly Dog too, because he always breaks out in the song or looks different than all of them, and because he sings, because he's Mr. Worldwide, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> Best voice in the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm here in the studio today. Very excited project that I'm working on with STX Entertainment called Ugly Dolls. <laughs> I am Ox, the mayor of Uglyville. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Charlie XCX. I cannot wait for you to meet my character. Hey, y'all. I am joining the cast of Ugly Dolls. But we can be pretty lovable. Hey, Moxie, you're in a good mood. It's an incredible message about accepting yourself and accepting others. Whoa. Oh, my doll. What have you done? I am so excited for you guys to see it. <laughs> What's perfection? Wow. <laughs> you guys go see it. Love you. Okay guys, so what I want to know from each one of you is what age kids do you think would most enjoy this movie? And start out with your age so we know your perspective. Well, I'm nine, and it's actually a big range. I think ages like five to ten, because they can enjoy it in different ways. People that are younger, they may not understand it fully, but they'll like the music and they'll understand it to a point. And then people that are older will understand it more, but might think it's a bit cheesy. I'm 11, and well, I think probably the age range is around two to five. But if you like these kind of movies, you might be able to like watch this because you would probably enjoy it. Well, I am eight. And I'd think probably from four to nine, because even though you're bigger, you're really gonna think it's cheesy. And the little kids might enjoy this because all of the colors and how action-y it was and all that funness. I think it can go from two to 10 because they're gonna think it's funny and it's animated so they're gonna like that. Like, older kids don't love animation. I mean, some do, but me personally, I don't. And how old are you, Caden? I'm 12. Okay. What about parents who might be watching this and wondering, is this okay for my four or five year old to see? What do you think of that? Do you think, is there anything in this movie that a, a parent would be concerned about? Um, well, there are some kind of dark scenes, like the bit in the incinerator is kind of dark, because I mean, who's gonna show your four year old? having a bunch of stuff he's being burned. And uh, there are, uh, there's this one other scene where there, there might be some concerns for parents. With younger kids, they're a little bit, like they might get confused. Like there was one scene where they were thrown in the trash and something was gonna eat them. The and they were like, yeah, and they were like going towards it. So they might be a little scared of that. But it's also a little bit confusing, so they may not understand like the scenes and stuff. I probably think that the five-year-olds, the four-year-olds, and the, yeah, they would enjoy this. Maybe, yeah, the part where 
um, the bad guy, they're trying to, you know, kill them. That might frighten them and make them scared. But it's overall a very funny movie. Okay. So, yeah. As an eight-year-old, you weren't concerned? Like, nothing scared you in this movie? Were you okay watching the movie? Of course. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And nothing Kate... bad is going to happen in um, an animated movie. Nothing bad or nothing, it's not even real. I think there's certain aspects of it that may uh, push parents away from showing it to their kids, like the incinerator scene, or there's like a part in the movie where everything drops to a zero and they're getting made fun of relentlessly. But I don't think the uh, younger kids are able to comprehend that, so I don't think they'll get it very much. But the older kids, I think the parents won't care about them because they're older. They can... They can fend for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad hair day? <gasps> Bless their ugly little hearts. Feeling judged? Well, that's just hurtful. No problem. Let our freak flags fly! Yeah! On May 3rd. Getting crazy, getting loose. What? Comes a movie for everyone. My pants are tight, but I like it. Who isn't perfect. Isn't that right, gibberish cat? <laughs> Whoa. So before you watched the movie today, was anybody already a fan of ugly dolls? Uh, did you have an ugly doll maybe in your collection? Um, I'm just curious. No offense, I didn't really know what they were. Okay. My brother had one, but I I don't really know what my brother does. I mean, he's three, so. That's a topic for another show. Yeah. What does my brother do? That's a whole <laughs> new show. Um, I, I've, I've seen ugly dolls before at like stores, but I don't have any. Um, I do have an ugly doll, so when I was little, this girl from my mom's work gave me a little buddy. But now I still have it and it's all ugly. It has a hole in its ear and it's all <laughs> dirty and I still have it. Bun bun. Bun bun. Katie. I had never heard of it ever. Ever. I'd never seen a poster for ugly dolls either. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. Aren't you going to admit to all those Cabbage Patch oh, yeah. dolls you have? I have the thousands. trillions of Cabbage Patch kids, of course, trillions. Uh -huh. Trillions. Wow. They're in pristine condition. Do you honestly think your little band of sock puppets stands a chance here? It's probably better if you just go back where you belong. Are we really not good enough for the big world? You know what? We're not going anywhere. <gasps> what? So crude. This is the part of the show where we ask each of you to give us a rating between one and five. One is a stinker and five is uh, a super movie. So I want to hear your reviews and just a very, very, very short reason why you give it that, that review. Let's start at the end with Katie. I would give it a, a solid three because it was a mix of cheesy, it was funny, it was also very good for music and it was mainly for smaller kids that because I'm older than all three of them, <laughs> and I would see like certain aspects of it that I didn't like because I was older. Okay, Billy. I'd give it a 3.5 because yes, it was very cheesy, but overall there was action, comedy, you know, a little bit of everything in this movie. Probably, okay, everyone's gonna hate me for this, but I'd probably give it a 2.5 because, well, it's not exactly Die Hard. I'm just gonna say that. It kind of reminds me of Trolls, which I did like, but then when I watched this, I just kind of put it next to Trolls and I think it's not that good, but... I mean, uh, younger kids might enjoy it, and um, yeah. I guess what? I like Trolls. Like, I like musicals, but not like when you just spontaneously break into song at every big moment in the movie, because I mean, he wants to just go, oh, hey, my cat died. Oh. They got the mustard. Uh, I think I would rate it a three because it was very cheesy, like, at times, but it had really good music and really good comedy. So it was good. And the animations were 
funny. Okay, guys, that was a great review. Thank you so much once again. But, yeah, I know, we're going, we're going. Fufu has to talk to his agent. We're gonna get going, you can wrap it up. Thanks, guys. Okay. Uh, bye, Jeff. Thanks for watching. Follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Join us for our next episode when we review Detective Pikachu. Kids Review Crew! Hey, come on guys, let's go find Fufu. All right, let's go find Fufu. Fufu! Where are you? So um, what I want to do is I want you to, to tell me what your age is and tell me what you think um, the best... No, let's do that again. That was too complicated. I want you to do algebra on set. <laughs> Calculus? So guys, as you know, one of the reasons that we have a cross-section of age... Not cross-section, it's not a good word for kids. Um, yeah, I have no idea what it's uh, a, variety. Variety. a variety. A variety. Can I redo my, uh, my rating scene? I forgot to say something. Sure, after this. Let me get, this, yeah, let me get yeah, through yeah. this first. This is, this is painful. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs>